there are currently over 36,000 champs. As of right now, on May 11th, there's 36,456 champions in Rainbow Six Siege across Xbox, PlayStation, and PC. Uh, hi, I'm King George. I'm an ex-professional player. I won the first Rainbow Six Invitational. I've been champion pretty much every season. I stream every day on Twitch. Uh, pretty much, and uh, I have a second YouTube channel. You can check out my socials and sponsors below in the description. If you have a comment, even if it's if it's contradictory to what I'm talking about here, be sure to leave it below. I try to respond to pretty much every comment. If you could like and sub and watch it through all the way, I really do appreciate it. So, now into the video. Uh, the complaint currently is that Champion is far too easy to get in rank 2.0. But the question is... Uh, well, there's 36,456 champions in the making of this video, which is a pretty high number, right? That sounds like a pretty high number, but let's break it down. Also, if you have, uh, you know, wonder how rank 2.0 works, I'll put a little card up. I did make a video on that as well, if you want to go through and watch that. Um, so both, both console platforms have over 10,000 champions. PlayStation currently has 15,582 champions at the making of this video. Xbox, 11,140, and PC, 9,734, totaling up, like I said at the beginning of the video, 36,456 champions. So obviously, champion used to be quite a bit harder to get before Rank 2.0. So like, what what is the difference? Why is it easier to get now? And it definitely is easier. There's no question about it. But is it necessarily a bad thing? Um, first of all, the ELO difference is at 4,500 ELO now. So a lot of people don't really realize this, but if you actually add up all the ELO or you ever look at your rank on R6 tracker, for example, it'll show that you have, when you just hit champion, 4,500 ELO or whatever, maybe a couple of points above it. Um, champion used to be 5,000 ELO. So you have to remember, basically every single person who used to be Diamond 2 is now champion. So that's one of the biggest differences that people are not really understanding. Um, you also don't need 100 games to hit champion anymore, um, you know, and it's overall, I think the ELO system is a bit more forgiving, definitely at this point, I would say. Uh, you get a lot of ELO in the beginning, and if you go on a quick win streak, you basically continuously get that much ELO for a long time, whereas if you go on a loss streak, you lose more. So I kind of talk about this in like that rank 2.0 video that I was talking about earlier, but yeah, so you can go on a win streak or a loss streak. Like I think I got champion this season in like 40 games or so, roughly, and I got it in three days, like 30 or 40 games. It was like pretty quick, especially now. They even made the system more aggressive in the beginning where you get like 120 something ELO per win uh, in the beginning, which is which is pretty nuts. Um, also, and something that I noticed kind of when I was going through this, so where did I get all of my numbers for these, you know, finding these exact amount of people? So basically, I went on an R6 tracker, and I was skipping around the pages until I could find people that were exactly under 4,500 ELO. Um, the thing that astounded me is the amount of, like, hundreds, actually, like, literally, like, thousands of people who are, like, literally right around 4,500. Like, I went through pages and pages and pages of people at 4,500 ELO, which was shocking. Uh, so what does that like kind of tell you? Obviously, there might be people that just kind of hover around that rank, but I think a lot more people just get boosted to that level. They either get there or they get boosted to that level or kind of skirt their way around. I mean, you can play with anybody of any rank right now. That's a whole nother discussion for another video, which I do think is a positive thing overall. But I mean, people can queue with like coppers now, like legitimate at hidden ELO coppers and, you know, potentially a champion, right? Like they'll, they'll play easier people on average. Um... So yeah, there's a lot of people that are that. There's there was a crazy amount of boosting by cheaters. I don't know what it was at the beginning of the season. It's like the anti cheat like didn't even work for a period of time, at least on PC. Um, and you know people were paying for boost and like they weren't banning anybody. It was crazy. It's it's calmed down a lot now. The cheating situation has definitely been kind of like leveled out, which is a good thing. Um, also, when you think about the number, obviously that's a huge number, thirty six thousand four hundred fifty six people, right? But millions of people do play this game right and i kind of want to talk about like the positives and the negatives of rank 2.0 champions as we kind of call them right now right um overall in my opinion i do think it's fine and, I, and i'll kind of talk about why i think there's more positives than negatives more people are playing ranked right now right i mean everybody kind of got a little bit of a rank boost not only is champion easier to get but pretty much every rank is easier to get at this point so everybody artificially feels like they have a higher rank um, but they really don't. The ELO system is kind of overall the same. I guess, yeah, you do get a little bit of extra ELO here and there, but the biggest thing is they've dropped basically every 
ELO rank by 500 points. I mean, that makes a huge difference. People don't really realize that when they talk about this most of the time. Uh, but but basically, the Ubisoft put out a little thing where like 41% or some, I don't know, something like that. It was around 40% of more people were playing ranked this season, which is pretty awesome. So, I mean, overall, that's a good thing, right? A healthy player base and happy player base is a good thing. I generally see people being happier when they're playing. I know a lot of it, I've talked about the meta being super brain dead. I made a video on that too. I'll throw a card up for that one as well, maybe. Uh, if you want, you can just check my channel for it though. But yeah, I mean, people are generally, it seems like happier with the game right now. I mean, maybe that's because they've gotten this like artificial rank boost and, and people are happy that they can hit a higher rank. And at the end of the day, it's a video game, right? People are supposed to be having fun. Ranked is not the pinnacle of competitive play. There is, you know, go fours for that type of thing. And well, I guess now there's what, go fives or the new one or something. I don't know. There's amateur competitive play in tournaments and stuff like that, right? And the biggest thing is if you want to compete within champion rank and really work on that grind, I mean, there's a big difference between champion 15,582 on PlayStation, you know, and champion number one, right? So you still could be anywhere in between that, like champion 100 or champion 500. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like those higher ranks in the champion rating is all the difference in the world. Uh, and I do think it's also, I mean, as I was just talking about people getting boosted and cheating, I do think overall it has lowered the amount of boosting and cheating in total. I know that I just talked about a bunch of people getting boosted from cheaters and stuff like that, but I do think it has overall. Um, you know, I think, and I think uh, I'll talk about a system in that as well. Uh, I think, you know, it is a rank decay system, which I'll talk about in a second. Uh, but I think it's lowered about the, also lowered the amount of people doing anything to win. What do I mean by that? People using glitches and scummy tactics and stuff, stuff like that, right? Cheating. Um, I do think those things obviously still exist, but it doesn't seem as badly. I also think that's credit to Ubisoft as well. They've patched up the game definitely a lot more lately. Um, and you remember, you still have your hidden ELO system in the background, and, and you can't be copper and hit champion once again. Go through my channel. I have videos on this type of stuff, so you can't be a copper who hits champion. Um, okay, so I talked about all the positives and stuff like that. Let's talk about the negatives, because there definitely are some as well. One thing I've noticed, and I think it's kind of led a lot to the TDM meta that we currently have right now, is people don't really care as much, right? Well, I hit champion. It was, like, easier. Say I'm normally, like, a champ player, and I'm pretty comfy in the champion. Five, 600 points. I'm going to run around and play for KD. I'll be champion with a high KD, because I bait a lot. And maybe they don't play the game correctly, right? So I think that does is probably part of the TDM meta issue that we kind of have right now. Um... Uh, people also don't feel like champ means as much. I don't. I don't think that's really as big of a deal necessarily because once again, there's the numbering system within champion. But I mean, hey, to each their own. I mean, it's it's still a negative technically, and I will list it. Uh, basically, in conclusion, though, I do think that the rank system does need some tweaks, but is overall good uh, for champion. I think it's yeah, it's definitely a little bit too easy, but I, I don't overall see it as a problem for the reasons I listed above. If you disagree, you know, feel free to leave a comment below, and I'll try to respond to it. And you know, hey, I'm always open to hearing new opinions. Um, I do think that the loss win streaks and loss streaks and win streaks are affect way too much. I think they should be removed, and there should be a set set amount of elo that you're gaining and losing. Um, and I also think, the, 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 I've also heard the thing of making a rank above champion. I don't like that, honestly, because I think it just encourages, like, once again, you kind of go back to the old system where people are just doing whatever it takes to get that W, right? Um, what two things that I do like, though, are I do like requiring more games, like maybe having a minimum requirement of 100 games. This way, it's, like, a little bit more difficult for boosting and stuff like that, and people who just get, like, a lucky win streak and then just stop playing. And I also think something that could be kind of cool is the rank as a rank decay. So what is a rank decay? If you don't play after a certain amount of time, you fall out of champion. Maybe they could just leave it only for champion rank, but you fall out of champion if you don't play like X amount of ranked games. Like, honestly, like you should really be playing like a game a week, right? Or whatever. Make it a game every 10 days, two weeks, whatever it is. The system doesn't really, you know, necessarily matter. But I think a rank decay could help a lot. It actually shocked me when I was going through the list on R6 Tracker of all the people who were just above champion and were literally, I clicked on some of their names for the hell of it and they had not played like any ranked game since like, like literally two months ago. Cause now we're at the very end of the season. Right. And it, it shocked me. It honestly did. Um, so yeah, once again, thank you guys very much for watching. Um, if, like, once again, if you have a comment, leave it below. I'll try to respond to all of them. I generally can pretty much get most of them. Um, if you leave the, the video a like, sub on YouTube, I really appreciate it. Check the description. I stream on Twitch every day if you want to follow over there and hang out in the Twitch streams. And uh, I have a second YouTube channel with full games. 
obviously all my socials and sponsors and just thank you guys very much as always for watching i always really appreciate everybody who takes the time to watch these videos and uh, i will see you guys in the next one